Hello everyone, and welcome to the Brick Formula review of LEGO Set 60017, the flatbed truck. It has 212 pieces for ages 5 to 12, and it's from the City Series, and this set retails for $19.99. And here in the front, you can see it's the mechanic's lucky day, because he is picking up a hot and beautiful looking car. And up here we have the minifigures, I'll talk about them later. And here in the back, you can see the step-by-step -step process on how to load a car onto the flatbed, which is pretty neat. And I'll talk about this set in more detail coming up. Here are the minifigures, and first up is the businesswoman who was on her way to work until stuff happened. And that looks like a new car that she was driving. Kind of weird that it breaks down so fast. It must have belonged to the company. But anyway, here's what she looks like. She's got the usual stewardess or secretary look to her, and she has a black suitcase. So nothing new here, really. And next we have the mechanic, who is an elderly gentleman. I think he should have retired by now, but I guess the pay must be pretty good. Next we'll take a look at the sports car, but before we do that, I would like to introduce you guys to a new part, and here it is. Pretty interesting shape, right? It kind of reminds me of those Gundam plastic model kits, like this will be one of those pieces in there, it goes on the top part of the torso, at least that's the impression I get from it. I mean, I can imagine the head like right here, some shoulders right here, you know. This piece alone might inspire some mech building, who knows? So now we'll take a close look at the sports car, which by the way, it has a really nice design. I like how they covered up almost all the studs except for these two up here and the ones on the inside. And here's the view of the side, and you'll notice right away that we don't have any side doors. So the only way in is to either hop in or to do some backflips. And here's the view of the top, and there she goes. And in the back here we have some space for a suitcase, which we can slide right there. And there we go. Here's the view of the back, and we have a sticker for a license plate. And here's the view of the other side. And there's the front. I like how this whole top area looks. That totally works. Now we just need to find a reason for this thing to break down. And then we get this traffic light, which at first I thought it was unnecessary, but it is a fun accessory to have. And if you want, you can always have the car run into it. I've actually seen this happen in real life, and I was like, wow, how do you do that? But hey, that's why we have tow trucks. And here is the flatbed truck. And I gotta say, this is actually a very fun vehicle to play with. And here's the view of the side. And the first thing I noticed and liked right away is that they added a little step up right there on the side there. It may not seem like a big deal at first, but you have to see it from a minifix point of view. You see, when a minifix stands next to the truck, the door is pretty much in their face. And the last time I had a door in my face, well, it wasn't very pleasant. Plus, I imagine it's a little hard to get up there too. So a little step up is pretty nice. Anyway, back to the vehicle. Over here we have a little knob that you can play with. You can wind it up to bring the hook in, or you can turn it the other way to extend it. Here's the view of the back, and we have a sticker for a license plate. And that's actually different from the one on the sports car. See? And here's the view of the other side. This right here is a sticker, and without it, you can imagine that it's gonna look a little plain. And over here we have a clip for the wrench. Here's the view of the front, and honestly, I don't know what to make of it. I've been staring at it for a while now, actually. And the only thing I can say is I'll definitely give them credit for trying something new and a little bit out of the ordinary, just so that the front looks different because a lot of the vehicles they make kind of looks like the front over here. I think maybe if they lose the sticker on the bottom, it might look a little bit better. Who knows? But let me know what you think in the comments below. Here's the view of the top, and the best way to get in there is through the roof. It is the easiest way anyway. And ideally, you want to take the side mirrors with you when you take that off. And here's the view of the inside. We have a little coffee mug, so you can drink some coffee for the night shift. And we can slide in our mechanic right there. Now you can't fit too many figs in there, so to do it, let me just take away the windshield first. And you also want to take away the cup and the cup holder, because you know, you're gonna tow away the sports car, you don't want to leave the young lady all by herself. So we'll just put this hand down this way. We'll have the young lady sit right here. And there we go, you have to steer with one hand, but that's okay. That's what it takes to be a nice gentleman there. And we'll just put this back together. And there we go. See, isn't that nice? I think that's great. Anyway, back to the flatbed. Over here we have the slopes, and this is what will hold the front wheels together in the front there. Well, not really hold together, but it keeps them in place. And once you open this, here's what the inside looks like. I'm actually surprised that they use a yellow piece right there. You would think it would come in a medium stone gray color, but nope. And now for the fun part. I'm going to show you how to 
bring the car onto the flatbed. So the first thing you do is you pull the hook, okay? And then from there, you wanna hook it up to either the bumper, which you can do, although after a few trial runs, I have ripped the bumper off, which sounds funny at first, but there is an alternative. You can actually attach the hook to the bottom right here. And it fits in pretty securely and tight too. And then once you have that, you can bring this down and just slowly reel it in. Okay, and there we go, you see that? Goes in pretty smoothly. And then once the front tires reach past the slope, you can bring the whole flatbed down. See, I like that. Now in case you're wondering, you can fit other cars up here too, as long as the car does not have more than two studs in front of the front wheels. So this one makes it just right. So let's take this blue one right here for example. Okay, this one is about one to two studs in front of the wheels, so this only fits too. It's a little awkward, but it still gets the job done. And let's take this truck right here. Hmm, reminds me of Optimus Prime. I guess he could use a ride. So we can stick that like right there. I think I'm going overboard, but you can reel this one in too. So let's just pull this one out as well. This one can hook up in there too, but I'm gonna stick it like right here, just for the fun of it. It's a truck, I wanna be secure, you know? So let's just reel that baby in. This way it's easier to see. And oh yeah, that one weighs a lot. Okay, there we go. Almost there. And there we go. Might have some trouble fitting through the tunnel, but I think that works. Nothing strange about that if I saw that on the road. Anyway, let's move on to the recommendations. Overall, this is a really good set. When it comes to the value, we have a price per piece ratio of 9.4 cents per piece, and we're getting about 26 to 32 dollars worth of parts here, and that's really good since this retails for 20. And when it comes to play value, I think it's excellent. What I like about this the most is that it's really compatible with the other LEGO City sets, especially like City Garage. A lot of those cars can fit on top of the flatbed. And even better, it's compatible with a lot of the LEGO City sets from previous years too. Because a lot of the vehicles are built in a similar fashion to the sports car, so that's why that all works out. So in the end, I think this is a really neat set, and I think you'll like this one. And that's it. That sums up my review. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. What? This doesn't fit in the garage? Oh, well, I guess it's not important. And then you, uh, uh, um... Can't speak. Oh crap, I have to do this all over again. And I don't know, it just looks kind of funny. Like, ribbit? Actually, why on earth did I say that?